Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how to deliver a lead magnet in Active Campaign without sending your welcome email again. So the problem is, it took me ages to find a solution to this, that's why I wanted to share it with you. You've created a new lead magnet and uh, I take it here that you know how to set up a form or tag that uh, lead magnet to join a list uh, when you're you know, making a form in something like Thrive Architect or Elementor or whatever you're using. So you've set up the form to collect the email address and now you want to deliver in the back end of Active Campaign your uh, lead magnet. But the problem is you don't want to trigger that generic welcome email every time. This is especially annoying for people who are already existing subscribers if they want to get multiple lead magnets. You don't want to keep sending them welcome to my list over and over again. So how do we segment these out? Well, let's have a look at the solution. Okay, so we're in the back end of Active Campaign. I'm going to show you one of my automations. This is for, for my avatar template. So what we simply do here is we start off by you know creating a new automation here in this little section here. Then we start this automation when one of these actions take place. And in this case, it's tag avatar template is added. Okay, then after that, we simply notify uh, me that someone's joined the list. And then after that, we simply add in a send an email. In this case, it's the avatar template email. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we end the automation. So this means that if you tag someone, however you do that, whether you do it with a, an active campaign form itself, you set up a new form and add the tag avatar template or whatever it is for your specific lead magnet, you add that into your site or you're setting up with say Thrive Architect or Elementor, you're adding in a new form, lead generation form and you add the tag at that point. Whatever that tag is, you go in the back end of Active Campaign, you start the automation with tag, avatar template, and then you notify yourself that that lead has come in if you want to, you don't have to do that section. And then you just simply send an email to deliver that lead magnet to your uh, subscriber, and then you end the automation, okay? So this is all very, very straightforward to do. Um, have a play around with that, but that is what you want to be looking at in the back end, okay? This email here, the avatar template email, looks like this. I just simply keep it really clean, really easy, really simple, and just have a link to download the, the free avatar template. I host the PDF in my media section on WordPress, and you just click this to download it. Of course, when they've been added to your list and tagged, you can do a lot more with them after that and market to them in different ways using different segments of your list but we'll touch upon that in, in a moment. But for now, that's all you need to know in terms of adding in the, um, the very simple automation delivery system for your PDF uh, download, whatever you're offering there. Now, the important bit to segment it out is we need to go and look at your overall list subscription process. So this is your generic list. I have one list and then I segment everyone out in active campaign with tags and do different things with them, send them different emails based on those tags. So we're going to start this off with content, contact subscribes to list content champions. So that's everyone in this case, just have one core list. That's everyone we're talking about. Now, if they're requesting multiple lead magnets, we want a way of differentiating them from people who are on this list and don't want to get that generic welcome email all the time and people who've, you know, just want to download one of your one of your new lead magnets and, and don't want that welcome email again. So all we do here is we go into conditions and workflow and then we add an if else into the uh, into the funnel there and we simply put does the content does the contact match the following conditions and we split it if tag exists welcomed okay so we add the tag welcome at this point to everyone who joins the list. They all get welcomed as a tag. If they have that tag already, yes, that'll be your people who are requesting multiple lead magnets who are already on your list. Then you simply end the automation. Okay, if no, they don't have the tag welcomed, 
then they might have just subscribed to the generic list or they may have got their first lead magnet and we want them to get this welcome email if it's the first email uh, that they've ever received from us, the first interaction they've had from us comes from requesting that lead magnet, then if they don't have that welcome tag, it takes them through to add a tag welcomed, okay? Once they've got that tag, we then say, send them an email, the welcome email itself. So this means that only people with the tag welcomed the first time will get that tag, well, sorry, will get that email the welcome email. So this all runs just once. So then you've tagged everyone that comes into the top end of the list. We've said to them if they already have the tag, as in they want multiple lead magnets from us, then we simply end the automation so they're not sent the welcome email again. But if they are completely new and they don't have the welcomed tag, we add the tag and we send them an email. I call it content champion welcome. Okay, and I'll show you that email here simply a welcome to the community, what they can expect on the lists um, so that they don't, you know, get any surprises in future. It helps this, um, you know, attrition rate in terms of people who remain on the list. Then I like to start segmenting straight away and I touched upon this earlier in this, in this short video. I like to give some of my, you know, most popular resources here. So we've got essential content marketing resources, you know, how to create a customer avatar, and five simple steps, mapping your customer journey in five essential stages. All of these things I tag now so people are, if you like, raising their hands to say, hey, I'm interested in this particular subject. So this would be content strategy, this would be content marketing, these two would be blogging, this one would be, I'll show you how to do one, add an action, add tag, and I just put something like this interest and this is affiliate marketing because this is um, about uh, an Amazon product review writing so there we go so now when anyone clicks on this link which is one of my most popular articles I'll tag them as being interested in affiliate marketing so I can send them really highly targeted emails in future and people do click on these links and it really helps. And I segment every single email I send in this way. Then we've got nine insanely helpful podcasting resources. People click on that, they're tagged with podcasting. And then we've got traffic here, SEO and content marketing again. And that goes out to my list. If they've got the tag, if they haven't got the tag, sorry, welcomed, then they get that as a one-off generic email. Once they then have the tag welcomed, which this automation uh, provides for them, and they want to then download loads of uh, lead magnets in future without ever getting this email again, then this system set up here in the way that I've described will help you to do that really easily every time. So I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions, let me know. But I'm going to be doing lots of short, sweet videos like this um, based on questions people are asking me and problems that I've had that I know will help you with your content, digital marketing, SEO.